What's up YouTube? This is Gruffy from Team Dark Horse. Um, today I'm going to do something a little bit different. I'm going to show you guys a different version of the heroes I usually play. Um, I'm not taking a break from the Tengu Control. That deck has been doing really, really well. Um, it I changed it a few cards, like three, four cards different than the deck I have posted now. And I'm kind of reluctant to repost the new version because of how well it's been doing. And with uh, Gen Con coming up, I might, I might be going to that. And I don't want anyone else to, like, I guess, net deck it or whatever. It's just really, I mean, it's been playing so good. If you guys have the cards, try it out, I guess. Um, and see for yourself. Again, like I said, there's a few cards different. I'll post it at some point, maybe after the sneak peek. But... I won't even be home for a little bit after the sneak peek, so it'd have to be until like mid-August before I post a, another deck uh, video. But regardless, this is a new hero deck I've been pl uh, trying out. It's really fun. It's it needs the new heroes. It needs the more importantly the Great Tornado, which is coming out in October. Escadaria would change things maybe a tad. It makes Super Poly uh, main deck worthy. I don't have it right now, but uh, as you can see, here's the extra deck. Just have it all right now. Uh, I would have. A ro probably a Roach in place of one of the other Synchros, maybe a Gaia. Probably a Gaia when it comes out. So, anyways, I'll go into the deck real, uh, real quick and I'll show you guys some of the plays it can do. Okay, so you got the one Stratos, the three Alias, Snowminator, Dandelion, three Raikou, and double Debris. That's an 11 card monster lineup. Uh, five targets for debris. Iron Chain is playable. Uh, you usually want to go into Gungner or uh, Black Rose. Probably not Black Rose, more Gungner than anything. But with Dandelion, you have access to Trishula. Because um, Future Fusion, Reveal Gaia, Pitch Dandelion, Dandy, uh, and then debris brings back Dandelion into Trishula. Or if one of the tokens gets destroyed, you can go to Stardust or Scrap Dragon. So, double pot. Rota, Emergency. I'm not sure about the, sec uh, the second search target. I mean, I, this could be like a third duality if you guys have it. Triple Spark. Future Fusion sets up your biggest plays. Triple Miracle Fusion. Reborn, Dark Hole, Book, Double MST. And finally, a deck that can actually consistently play it. Triple Hero Blast. Um, it's really, really good in here. To the uh, Solemn Brigade, Techni Prison, Compulse will be double bottomless when priority really changes. Mirror Force, Torrential. There's your other bottomless. Or, well, I mean, like the tech bottomless, but would be two again. Uh, seven tools, and then I've been trying out Trap Dust Shoot because Trap Dust Shoot has been working really well, and uh, the Tango Control deck that I've put together, I guess that tells you guys what else, one of the cards is different that I'm playing. Um, but anyway, let's get go to the main deck. I guess I'll start pointing out the tech. Or I guess some of the reasons I play some of these cards. So, seven tools is really good against... I mean, like, if they're going to Warning or Deep Prison or whatever against your Shining, your Stratos, your Alias, your Debris Dragon, you know, it's, it stops that stuff. I don't know if I'd play two because I just want to limit uh, the amount of situational cards. Not that seven tools is too situational, but it can be. Especially, like, uh... Say late game when you guys are left at the top thing, you need a monster or something. Let's so get the bottomless. Uh, staple, staple. Compulse pushes stuff back. I really like Compulse right now. And, yep. Now, triple Hero Blast. Okay, the other one's in here somewhere. Must have grabbed it. Here it is. There. Okay. So, why is this good? Well, I play three Raikou. So, you set Raikou, and you. I mean, like. Okay, so the deck plays 11 monsters, but any one of those monsters can be immediately in some form or another playable. You mill an alias, you have a Hero Blast target, which is amazing, because then you can plus off a Hero Blast. Because a Hero Blast is at the very least a one for one. If you play it, if you guys don't already know this, I'm just going to explain it real quick. If you play it, you grab back the alias, but you don't have to be able to destroy a monster. So if they don't have a monster and they just play MST on your Hero Blast, you chain Hero Blast, grab the alias, and you just minus one to your opponent. Or you guys, you just plus one yourself, blah blah. Um, or the MST, and actually get to destroy the monster and get back Alias. That would be a plus two, somewhere or another, something like that. 
so Hero Bless is really good. Again, the Raikou can send a, one of your monsters, or if it sends a Dandelion, you get two tokens. It sends a debris, uh, uh, Snow Man Eater, then you have a Debris Dragon target. Um, the only thing bad is Debris Dragon is the one thing you don't want to be milling, because that doesn't work with Miracle Fusion, because we don't have the Great Tornado. But otherwise, this card's really good. Future Fusions, uh, Pitches, uh, you know, Dandelion, and uh, Alias, you know, boom, Hero Blast. Or, of course, the U Gemini Spark, and you got Hero Plus playable. So, incredibly uh, versatile. Double MST, you got Cloak, Reborn. Three Miracle Fusion because you mill and you get stuff to the grave a lot faster in this deck. With the Raikou is milling, uh, the Debris Dragon, I mean, like, y you've got a lot of different plays. Not that Debris Dragon sets up for Miracle Fusion, but, I mean, I guess you have to try out the deck to see, like, to really see how well this is. Of course, if you top deck uh, Miracle after Miracle after Miracle, you and you know you get it really game. It's gonna be kind of bad, which is why Future Fusion is really good. It sets all all that stuff. So, and then you play the three Spark for the Alias. You have enough ways of getting Alias to your hand, and if not, you uh, set the Raikou, you mill, hit an Alias or something, and then you got Miracle Fusion almost ready, or it is ready if you hit another monster, uh, other than the Breed Dragon. And, or you got Hero Blast live, so these two search the uh, Stratos and Alias in two dualities. Probably play three if I had three. And like I said, if you guys do have three, then take out any emergency for it. Now, Debris Dragon only has five targets, but it works really well in this deck. Uh, with Raikou milling, uh, you can get your targets to the grave faster, so don't, you always have to pick up Raikou. Otherwise, I mean, Debris Dragon goes into a 2500 beater, which is always good. Um, and like I said, Raiko does a lot for this deck. Whoops. Okay, does a lot for the deck, and it's a light target, so you can Miracle Hero, Miracle Fusion into the Shining with this. Um, White Dandelion over, like I say, a Spirit Reaper or something. Well, Spirit Reaper is dark, so, and we don't have Escadario out, or whatever that thing's called, the Dark E-Hero. So there's not really a lot of point to be playing Spirit Reaper. Dandelion can be sent to the graveyard uh, by revealing Gaia with Future Fusion, so I mean it sets up some of your bigger plays I guess. And you can always set it, and they destroy it, and you get to plus two. So I mean, it sets up other things. Oh, and by the way, Debris Dragon, if they Valor your Debris Dragon, and say you have like a Alias or something on the field, you can always go for Utopia. So if they Valor your Debris Dragon, it's now more versatile than it was before. One Snowminator, I don't know if I'd be playing two, because of the format shifting, I mean, they're not really going to be attacking. They're going to be blowing shit up. We're moving with Caius against certain decks. It's just... We're, okay, this was really good when Black Wings were hot. Because Black Wings always attacked. And you can't Icarus during the damage step when they know it's a Snowminator. So that's why that was good. Not a whole lot of decks like to do that anymore. Because Six Sams will already have their shit set up. And then they Magatama. This is nothing. I mean, it's good, but it's not as good as it was pre the uh, since the last format. And then you got the three Alias and the Stratos, yeah. So guys, that's the deck. Um, I recommend you guys trying it out. It's really fun. Uh, it's been doing well for me. So hope you guys liked the video. Make sure to rate, comment, subscribe. And this is Scruffy from Team Dark Horse. I will see you guys later.